Hello! Welcome to this place where I'm sharing my world and beyond while learning why Sarah is Sarah is Sarah. I've been quarantining back home in Nashville with my family, and this past Mother's Day, which is also my mom's birthday, I know, a while ago, I made a lemon tart to celebrate. I'm always curious about where food comes from, so stay a while, subscribe, and let's learn about lemon tarts and make one together. Fresh fact history. Let's start with lemons. The first lemon trees were cultivated in northern India, and its name is thought to come from Persian or Arabic. The early Romans also knew about lemons. Eventually, the Silk Road carried lemons over to the Middle East, North Africa, and the Mediterranean. Then, the fruit was gifted to the Queen of England from Spain and carried over to the New World. And then, lemon trees started growing in South Carolina. So, who came up with the recipe? Some historians believe the Protestant Quakers in England created the lemon custard or curd and brought it over when they came to North America. But others believe Elizabeth Goodwell, a woman who owned a pastry shop in Philadelphia, created it. This dessert would open the doors to other creations like the lemon meringue pie and key lime pie. Also, France adapted this dessert and made it its own, tart au citron. I know, I butchered that pronunciation. <laughs> so that's how we got here, and here's the recipe. Wow, is Sarah doing a voiceover? Wow. At the store, I could only find Irish butter. I've never had that before, so I ended up using that. And a tip for using butter into crust is that you want to keep it cold until the moment that you need it. So I kept the butter in the fridge until I needed it, and here I am cubing it. And now, since I didn't have a food processor that was big enough, I just ended up using my hands. And it is such a satisfying feeling of mushing the butter and flour and it kind of like melts into your hand. So I ended up wrapping it and then leaving it in the fridge for 30 minutes. Okay, so after we left it in the fridge for a bit, we took it out and we rolled it out to like an eighth inch thickness. So, and then you like roll that bad boy over a nine inch pan. I think it was about nine inches. And then I ended up poking the bottom with a fork. And I actually had a little leftover piece, so I was like, all right, let's make a little tartlet. So I don't have parchment paper, so I ended up using foil, and then I had some dry beans lying around, and that is what I used. For this, I like wanted to warm up the eggs in like a few minutes, so I drew a bath for the eggs. I like plop the eggs in there and then it warms it right up. Yeah, so they're ready for splitting the egg yolks and whatnot. And now onto lemon time. Get that zing in your life. Another tip to releasing more juice and getting getting the most juice out of your lemons is to kind of like roll them around and massage them and like throw them around. So then first thing I do is I zest them and so yeah, it kind of takes some arm strength, but you know, go ahead and zest. And then now it's ready for juicing and don't worry, you can just strain out the seeds later. So that's what I ended up doing. And you have to actually like juice a lot of lemons to get the amount that we're needing but you know it's definitely worth it and i think it tastes really different from like what you get in the store and I'm 
So I ended up adding less sugar. I thought it ended up really well with the fourth cup less of sugar. Yeah. And then so now taking the crust out of the oven so then we can just see how the beans turned out not the beans oh lord now we're gonna take the foil off and then bake it for about 15 ish more minutes but i did find that it wasn't quite the like golden slightly golden color that i was going for so i actually popped it in for about three more minutes and then this actually came out came out to what i was looking for that slightly golden crust and then, yeah, and even the little tartlet guy came out pretty well too. And now is time to add all the juices and the yummy, yummy filling. So I ended up adding that. I can't wait to see how it turns out. It smells so good. It just smells like so much lemon. And I feel like that's definitely not a bad scent. I don't, I don't really know anyone who says that they don't like lemon. Hmm. Slide into your mind so silky Up under the down we fly Clean it up just to make it filthy Under the sheets all night try my little egg tart that I made or a lemon tart. I said egg tart because it makes me think of the Hong Kong and Macau and just basically southern Chinese egg tart that's really popular, right? Like chefs always have to taste their food, right? I'm gonna try the crust first. Mm. Straight up butter. I've never had um, Irish butter before. So I didn't know what it was going to taste like, um, but honestly it just tastes like regular butter. The crust is very nice. Um, mm. Yes, Chef Wim. Mm -hmm. Tart, sweet. I'm glad I only used a half cup of sugar instead of three-fourths because I feel like it's plenty sweet. Um, I don't really taste the zest in this one little bite, but perfect little dessert goes with coffee tea anything so honestly it's been a while since i made a recipe like this but um on it i really enjoyed it and i hope my mom likes it too so. back in your life like i never left come back in your bed Ooh, that's mm. a bed time passes by as we do our thing wow See Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Jenny Chan. <laughs> happy